Welcome to this presentation. We are going to solve another statement problem. A logic circuit have three inputs A, B and C. The output F is high when the majority of inputs are logic 1. So this is the statement and we have to minimize the function. We have to minimize the function F and we have to implement this circuit. So let's start with it. We have to make the truth table first. We have three inputs. So we will have eight possible combinations. A, B, C are the three inputs and eight possible combinations are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and finally 1, 1, one. So these are the eight combinations and we have to find out the function f and uh, we will use this uh, statement to find out the function f. The output f is high. It means the output f is equal to 1 when the majority of inputs are logic 1. We have three inputs and if majority of inputs are 1, we have to take the function f as 1. For the first case, we have all the three inputs equal to 0 so function f is going to be 0 for the second case we have two inputs as 0 and one input as 1 so again function is 0 function equals to 0 for the fourth case b is 1 and c is 1 so function f is 1 for the fifth case again function is 0 and for the last three cases the function is 1 because the number of ones are more as compared to the number of zeros in the input bit stream and we are going to use the truth table to find out the function f. We only have to consider the cases when the function is high. So we have four such cases and thus we will have four min terms I hope you remember the min terms and uh, for the first case we have a as 0, b as 1, c as 1 so a complement b c for the second case we have a as 1, b as 0, c as 1 so a b complement c for the third case we have a as 1, b as 1, c as 0 so a b c complement and for the last case all the three variables are high so a b c so we have the function but we want to minimize the function so we are going to use the boolean algebra to minimize this function i will take a b common from the last two terms so we have a complement b c or a b complement c or a b in bracket we will have c complement or c and we already know x or x complement is equal to 1 so c complement or c is equal to 1 function f is a complement b c or a b complement c or a b because a b and 1 is equal to a b now we will take a common from the last two terms and we will have b complement c or b in the bracket and if you remember the distributive law x complement y or x is equal to x or y this is very simple so in this case we will have a and c or b i will open this bracket by using the distributive law and we will have a b or a c now we can take b common from the first two terms and we will have a complement and c or a and again we will use the distributive law this law and uh, we will have c or a b or a c finally we will have a b or a c or b c so this is the answer the minimized function that we have obtained from this statement and now we have to implement this circuit so it's very simple to implement this circuit we have to use three AND gates 
and one or gate and remember this one or gate is three input or gate so we will do it quickly we require three and gates the first and gate will have input a b the second and gate will have input a c the third gate will have input b c we have implemented this a b by using this and gate let's say a1 we have implemented a and c by using this and gate a2 and finally b and c by using this and gate a3 and now the output is a b a c b c and we have to or them to obtain our function f so we will or them by using three input or gate and the output of this or gate is function f so this is the second part of the problem in which we had to implement the circuit this is all for this presentation this is how the statement problem will be asked in the exam if you have any doubt regarding any part of this lecture you may ask in the comment section